Let's take a look at a problem involving conservation of momentum where we're given the relative velocity of the objects after a separation. Uh, this is exercises in problem number 36 from page 211 from Halliday Resnick Walker, 5th edition. And so we have a uh, rocket and its payload capsule uh, moving to the left at 4,300 kilometers per hour and we'll make the left the positive direction and we need to separate the capsule from the rocket and so maybe there's some springs here or an explosive device and it goes off and we separate and so the capsule gets pushed to the left in the separation and the rocket gets pushed back to the right. And so the capsule will speed up, the rocket will slow down. We want to know the velocity of the capsule after the separation and the velocity of the rocket. Uh, we're told the capsule has a mass m, or the rocket has a mass 4m, and that the relative velocity after the separation is 82 kilometers per hour. In other words, if you were on the rocket here, and you measured the speed of the capsule, you would see it going 82 kilometers per hour relative to you. And so to set this up, think about which one of these is going to be greater, V capsule or V rockets. And so if the capsule got pushed forward, uh, what would that be? And it would have to be V capsule as the rocket got, got pushed backwards. And so V capsule is greater than VR. So one equation we need for this is relating the relative velocity to the capsule and the rocket's velocity. Relative velocity is the difference between the two. But if I want it to be positive 82, it's the big one minus the little one. And so setting up this equation, I know it's VREL equals VC minus VR where V rel is positive 82. If you like, you can make it be negative 82, then it's VR minus VC. Those are equivalent equations. I prefer to set it up as positive. But either way, you find out that the rocket's velocity is the capsule's velocity minus 82 kilometers per hour. So we have one equation, but we have two unknowns. So we need another equation, and we know that other equation is going to be conservation of momentum. And so the sum of the external forces is zero. The uh, push from the springs or the explosion was an internal force, so momentum is constant. And so the momentum before the separation equals the momentum after the separation. And so we write the initial momentum. We have both objects, a total mass of 5m times their combined velocity, 4,300 kilometers per hour. And then after the separation, the capsule's on its own its mass times its unknown velocity, and the mass of the rocket times its unknown velocity. And so what we need to do is solve for one of those unknowns. And so I already solved um, the velocity of the rocket to be VC minus 82. So I substitute that in for VR. And now I get an equation with only V capsule in it. And so I just need to carry out this multiplication and solve for V capsule. And so the M's cancel. If that bothered you to have M in there, just make something up for it. One kilogram would be a good choice. And so now we get 5 times 4,300 is VC plus 4 times VC. And then 4 times negative 82. And so I carried out that multiplication and get um, all my VCs together. I have five VC total and add the 4 times 82 to both sides. And I get VC is 4365 kilometers per hour, which is greater than the original uh, 4300. To get VR, you could do it in a similar way. But since we already have an equation for VR, it's VC minus 82. We just put in what we know VC to be, and we get 4283. And so VR is less than 4300, so that makes sense. So we probably did this right. Um, 
what I recommend you do if you're having trouble this, with this is go through this problem, but see if you can solve for VR first. I solved for VR and eliminated it from the momentum equation and got VC as my first unknown. See if you can do it the other way for practice or you can wait to practice it on the test.